Fry, President and CEO of Deepwater Subsea. I want to take a moment to give you six tips of how I became a subject matter expert and things that you can do with your career to help you progress very quickly. First, first and most important step, own the equipment, own the space. It is your space, know everything you can about it. What do I mean by that? You should be able to walk into any space and be able to look at any piece of equipment and identify some very key things about it. First and foremost, what is it? Can you walk through a space and look at any piece of equipment and say, that is X, that is the HPU pump, that is the filter. If you can get to that first level of comprehension, you're on your way to becoming a subject matter expert. Second step, what does it do? You know what it is, what does it do? What is its primary function in the overall process of operations? If you can explain what that piece of equipment does, you're already progressing in your comprehension level where the system's knowledge is. Very important piece, if you can't walk the system and know what every piece of equipment is, you will definitely never become a subject matter expert. Number three, how do you operate it? You know what it is, you know how it works, do you know how to operate it? You should know how to operate every piece of equipment that you have in your space. It is your space. Like I said in the beginning, you need to own the space, you need to own the equipment. How do you operate it? Let's get away from pushing a button and hope that something happens on the other side. To become a subject matter expert, know everything there is about the system. If I push a button on a BOP control system, what happens behind the scenes to make that function fire 10,000 feet away, subsea on the BOP? If you can get to that level of comprehension, you're definitely on the way to becoming a subject matter expert. The next step in becoming a subject matter expert is knowing how to maintain and inspect the equipment. You know what it is, you know what it does, you know how to operate it, now you need to know how to maintain it. When you get a piece of equipment and you have to do preventive maintenance on it, you need to know everything there is to know about it. If I'm greasing the tensioners, what is it that I'm looking for? What am I listening for? What am I inspecting? If you can get to that level of knowledge, you're definitely on the way to becoming a subject matter expert. The funny thing is, is a lot of guys take their preventive maintenance tasks and they just go about the operation of just performing the steps but they don't really understand to a higher level why it is they're doing that. If you can get to that level of ownership, owning the space, owning the equipment, you're on your way to becoming a subject matter expert. The next step, how do you troubleshoot it? Again, going through the process, you know what it is, you know how it operates, you know how to operate it, you know how to maintain and inspect it, how do you troubleshoot it? You get a call at two o'clock in the morning, you're not gonna have time to go run and grab a tech manual or call somebody on the beach to understand how to troubleshoot a piece of equipment. If you're taking complete ownership, complete being the key word, you need to know how everything functions and how to operate it and how to maintain it, and most importantly, how to troubleshoot it. If you can get to that level of understanding of all your systems, now you're becoming a subject matter expert. Finally, for me, putting it all together. If you know how every piece of equipment works in your system, you know how to operate it, you know how to maintain it, you know how to troubleshoot it, now you know how it works systematically throughout the entire process. I like to use the example, you're a droplet of water. I want you to come through the mixing system, go through the HPU pumps, get fired down a rigid conduit line, go out through the pods, through let's say the upper annular. If you can draw that entire system and you can explain it, and you can even go through some troubleshooting processes with questions like what if this happens, you are now becoming a subject matter expert. The thing that's important is there's a lot of guys that think they have that level of knowledge, but the reality is they really don't. You might have a basic comprehension of how all the systems work, but you should be able to take a schematic and walk your system and know everything there is to know about it. I challenge everybody who watches this video to go back to work, take a schematic for any piece of equipment, and go out and see if you can identify every piece. If you really want to be a subject matter expert, take ownership of your equipment. There's a lot of pieces of equipment that have covers on it. Take the cover off. As long as you're not being intrusive, take the cover off with the schematic and take a look and go, you know what? This is where that piece of equipment is. This is where this proportional bypass valve is. When you have to go to troubleshoot, you're tracing the lines trying to figure out what the problem is. If you don't know where that piece of equipment is, then how are you gonna troubleshoot it? Hopefully this has been helpful for those of you who are watching the video. Some of you might think to yourself, say, hey, Mike, this is pretty basic stuff. The reality is, I promise you, if I came on board and did a spot check, 
grabbed a schematic and said, hey, Johnny, take me to this piece of equipment, explain to me what it is, explain to me what it does, explain to me how you do maintenance on it, and explain to me how you troubleshoot it, odds are most of you will not be able to do that. I welcome your comments and feedbacks in the section below. Please take the time to provide any feedback you have, because we always look forward to it, and we welcome it. Thank you again.